Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on artificial intelligence and machine learning. I am Dr. Dafda and in this 23rd video class of AIML, we will understand searching for solutions in artificial intelligence. Starting with the name, searching for solutions means finding solutions for different problems like the toy problems or the real world problems which we have already understood ahead. And basically searching for solutions means we are finding the goal state of any given problem. Also now, once we know the problem formulation steps for these problems, we will go ahead and search for solutions. So we have to understand search trees, search strategies and algorithms and also understand how to avoid redundant paths. See AI search algorithms are essential for solving problems by exploring different possible solutions. So exploring different possible solutions means searching for solutions in AI. Okay, so let us start. See, we know that a solution in AI is an action sequence that leads from initial state to a goal state and different search algorithms generate and evaluate action sequences to find solutions. And how is a search tree? In the search tree, the initial state is at the root node. Different branches of the tree are actions and different nodes are the resulting states. And it is obvious that each possible action leads to a new state. So in the figure, this initial state at city Arad is our root node. These branches are our actions and the resulting states or cities like CBU, Timisora and Zerin are our different nodes. So here we are finding a route from Arad to Bucharest using a search tree. And the map is like this, which we have already seen earlier. So from Arad, we can go to these three cities, CBU, Timisora or Zering, which are our different nodes. So expansion is the process of exploring new possibilities from the current state. We apply legal actions to generate new states. The parent node is the original state before the expansion, while the child node is the resulting states after applying an action. So the parent node expands into child nodes, creating a branching structure. For example, expanding the state in ARAD results in states in CBU, in Timisora and in Zering. And choosing which node to expand next is the key aspect of search. Now let us understand the frontier and the leaf nodes. A leaf node is a node that hasn't been expanded yet or with no children nodes. So in this figure, for figure A, we can see that ARAD is still not expanded. So ARAD is a leaf node. And the frontier consists of all leaf nodes that can be expanded next. So some algorithms call the frontier the open list, which is a less accurate term. So what is frontier in this figure? In figure C, the cities like ARAD, Fagaras, Oridia, Rimniku, Vilsia, Timisoera or Zering are different frontiers. Why? Because these all are available for expansion next or these all can be expanded next. Okay. The search algorithm selects one node from the frontier to be expanded next and the way we choose which node to expand defines the search strategy. Okay. The tree search algorithm systematically explore nodes to find a solution. It maintains a frontier of possible expansions. If the goal is found, we return the solution. Otherwise, we continue expanding until the solution is found. However, for this tree search algorithm, there are challenges like repeated states and loopy paths. See, if a state appears again in a path, it is a repeated state and a loopy path keeps revisiting the same state leading to inefficiency. The loopy paths can make an otherwise solvable problem unsolvable and obviously we must avoid unnecessary loops to optimize search performance. For example, we can see in this figure C, ARAD can be expanded to CBU and CBU can again be expanded to ARAD which creates a loop and it must be avoided. And one more matter of concern are the redundant paths. Redundant paths occur when there are multiple ways to reach the same state. And here some paths are more efficient than the others. For example, we want to reach from ARAD to CBU. So if we go directly, it is 140 kilometers. But there is also a second path from ARAD to Zerind to Oridia to CBU. 
so here the total travel distance is 297 kilometers so this second path is the redundant path so these redundant paths increases the search complexity unnecessarily and avoiding redundant paths improves efficiency and prevents unnecessary work so how can we reduce redundancy in some cases reformulating a problem can reduce redundancy for example in the eight twins problem defining rules properly reduces paths however some problems naturally have redundant paths for example root finding problem okay that is maps then sliding puzzles etc and they must deal with redundancy but remember that avoiding redundant paths is crucial for efficiency for example in this figure the white nodes separates the explored black nodes from the search and this will eliminate redundancy so here the search will only proceed towards the gray nodes these gray nodes okay which are unexplored and the black nodes are excluded or not considered for the further search so a better search algorithm is a graph search algorithm and this graph search improves upon the tree search by preventing repeated expansions it remembers the visited states in the explored set which is also called the closed list so here there is a closed list that keeps the track of visited states to prevent repetition so this prevents cycles and makes the search more efficient and now we grow a tree directly on the state space graph eliminating redundancy so in conclusion we can say that searching is a fundamental ai process for problem solving and efficient algorithms expand only necessary nodes and avoid unnecessary work the graph search algorithm is a key improvement over the basic tree structure and understanding search techniques help in real world ai applications like navigation robotics and games okay so that is all for this video class thank you very much